Hi, John here. Um, it's uh, Monday, Monday the twenty third, uh, Monday, Monday the twenty fifth of July, two thousand sixteen. I'm just ringing um, my friend Dick Carlson in Rotoria, East Coast, for the meeting coming up. Here goes. Hello? Hello, is that you, Dick? Yeah, John. John here, John Wano. Hey, mate. That's good. Hey, I've been talking to my chief today, Kingi Toto, up in, uh, in Waitangi. Uh, and he's all okay there for Marae to Marae uh, with, the, with the, what we're doing there, uh, chasing John Key uh, off, off what we do on the land. And so I just wanted to see if, if it was alright for the Marae to to have a pui on the, for the 12th of next month. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, on that's just a Friday. If no if no good then a Saturday or, or a Sunday. Of 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 round there anyway, that depends on, on the Marae. Okay? So um I've just got um, I've just got a few things to do there, that's for a meeting, it'll be like the morning for the locals uh, and and uh, that's for the power project on the Brantfully Bank and that land to do it up for business, uh, for the base for there, straight to England. We're going straight to Britain and the British military to come straight into, into the uh, CBA right around. Um, at, at now anyway with, uh, with the way John Key's gone he's bringing the Navy in from, from um, um, America and that's martial law they, they're going to sneak that in when Je Jerry Matafurai is going to be the ambassador to, in, uh, to New Zealand in, in, in Britain I'm trying, I'm trying to hear them off and go there myself <coughs> um, so that's with the flag, the, the, the flag that we fly, the Confederation flag, to stick it up on the, uh, up there in, in, in the seabed and kick them off, kick, 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 kick the John Key and his uh, Obama thing. Obama is, is, is going rampant now with, uh, with martial law. Um, but that's the hui for the morning and then the afternoon the landowners for that uh, heading a A12 block and, and the landowners for the A10 block. That's where, where I want to put a quarry down on the, where that washout is on the, on the seabed. And um, I got the, the council giving me a soil, soil report for the erosion. I'm going to build them the erosion, you see. Build them for everything that's gone wrong in the, in the Waipu River from down at the Haho. 7B by the mouth there, I'm on that block over there as well with those fellows, the Mano Raro and all those other guys there uh, but this is better to go from from um, Port Awanui because it's a smaller block to do uh, to start off with straight to Waitangi blocks I'm t I've taken over the Waitangi Marae and all the land there uh, on title and a land block in, in Auckland. There's a big block in, in Auckland I've taken over and ready to take them out. Um, at the same time as, as those two blocks at, at, uh, at Port Awanui, they put them straight into the hapu there on that marae, Te Horo marae, uh, will be, we'll be more or less getting in first with the seabed power project with the hydrogen 
hydrogen and stuff that I've got ready to go um, from from uh, around the world. I've got um, the power note shares going around the world right now um, to fund everything straight from Waitangi. As soon as we get as soon as we get things going, we we're going to rip it off and get going. All right, but that's that's basically um, what everybody's looking at on my website. And on the Facebook is 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 one piece of land is the same as the rest, uh, and we got we got to uh, we got to um, approach it from that angle, and not as an individual, um, you know, on, on, in the community anyway, to make sure everybody gonna get something out of it, not just me, just just that's uh, it's not gonna work if I do it that way. I need if. If the people know what is in it for them, right? Is that cement works? I want to get going with the machines and everything uh, on that um, hitting a eighteen block. And Richard and thing has gone along with it. They're, they're letting me go through the block and do what I want because they know I'm going to take the lease on both of them. And um, um, he's you know be put on the spot at the end of um, September. I'm taking the lease over. And at the end of March next year, the lease is up for him on on the A A eleven block. Uh, a ten, uh, sorry, the A um, A ten block. Yeah, so I go see the owners on the A ten block and see what they want to do. It's up to the owners, really. They might say no to me, but I've got to have a meeting. That's what I normally do anyway. Um, uh, so thanks for the meet, man. Oh, well, it's pretty good. Yeah. I didn't go and get some powers. It was too bloody cold, man, after the night. <laughs> we had no blanket. My mate didn't even take the blankets or the tent. Uh, so we just, the, just well, the fire kept us warm all night. And on the couch, well, the, that one blanket was there, but that, that was that was all right. They keep us keep us warm. But uh, I enjoy it um, the, the, there. Uh, but as far as the land, I'm trying to lock it into the hapu, uh, the same as I'm locking the land in Auckland up to the hapu, and up, up in Waitangi with Kingi, um, being a military man himself, he's, he's, uh, he's the one that'll pull the things together there, and um, left everything up to me, really. Uh, said, whatever you want to do, go and do it, yeah. So I've been lucky, really, with, with a big audience around the world watching. And, and if I do, if I, if, I, if I put it across at the meeting and, and people turn up on the marae, then, then it's well worth it um, for them to, uh, um, you know, have something out of it. Yeah, that's, that's what it's about. And with all my hui's, it's like that. But they're just saying, when, 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 when going to happen? <laughs> so uh, the only thing was the funding that I'm setting up with the Power Note. Um, um, uh, the old Tafeo Power Note that used to be, uh, uh, I, I pulled it back and started using it as soon as we get Cook Street. Uh, that'll kick the rest of the land blocks off. Hmm. Yeah, but something like that anyway. Uh, so let me know. You got my number, eh? Oh, this one here. This, I've got two numbers, this one and the other one I gave you. But this, this one here, you can call back and let me know with the marae. Don't have to be that date, it's just a, a date around about that time because I'm trying to think it in with September to be to be there with you fellas and, and, and get something going. I've got machines lined up, you see, uh, to come straight in on the, on, on, on the, on the quarry. And, and th if the council give me consent to mine it instead of letting it go into trees, then they'll whack the hill down. That'll take a long forever. But all that stuff is all right for cement. Make concrete housing. So I'm going to start uh, doing concrete housing, which is quicker steel, on the side of the hill um, on that block. So I'm going to make the first house there um, from that material. And um, the, um, what you call it, enzymes mixed up with the, the clay and the sand and everything. 
right? Does that sound right? Yeah, that's just some of the things I was going to talk to at the hui in the morning for the for the um, everybody who else um, uh, that, that will come and listen. Uh, um, and I, I, I don't need papers. I just say it off straight off the cuff because I've been doing it for a while now. Um, and questions or whatever from from people. Yeah. <coughs> Other than that. I like my diving. <laughs> my my boy is into the scuba as well, and my two girls, the young ones, uh, they they're more inclined that area too. So we got we got four of us, and now my my kids that that um, that are interested in diving, deer, you know, and out out in the sea, open. Yeah, um, but they still need a bit of encouragement. Yeah. That was all, mate, for now. Yeah. Any questions? But those are the things. I, I want to get the machines. I'm, I'm one for machines and aircraft. I've been flying aircraft for some time. I just bring the aircraft straight in there. Well, I haven't got my license over to New York, but to land on that hill up the top, I hope it's flat enough downhill so they can make a, make a runway. Yeah, the stuff I want to do with the, the rock grinder, He's going to make all the roads and put this primazine in the ground, mix it up with the, the clay and, the, and, the, and say make a road, uh, no trouble, uh, without, without anything else. Uh, like it's, a, it's a road stabiliser stuff, you liquid, liquid, you mix it up with the, the, the dirt and, and get the thing on the end of the digger, the, the rock, rock crusher, and just spin the dirt up. And that's how we make the, we go up, up, up the, the rock face and just grind it down. And uh, and then mix it up uh, with the with these uh, rock crushers, as the smaller ones on on the on the front end loader, uh, and don't need a big rock crusher. It's all new stuff now. You know, uh, better better equipment. Uh, we just get those sort of things and get the sort of money uh, to buy those sort of equipment. I oh, just get little small ones for for a start, just to you know, try our hand at it, and um, be a lot. Of Bit of work, a bit of work. Uh, I want to put these slab, like precast slab, made of earth concrete, not 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 cement concrete, earth concrete. So the powers will stick to it. And when we go out onto the platforms in the sea, all the putting will stick to it, and the and the powers and everything, so we don't have to um, uh, bug around. And hydraulics, we're using the sea tide power to make power energy, hydrogen, and that will do it for us, fuel everything. Yeah, um, I got the tickets for for for, for gas to, to install them, engines, all that sort of thing. You just convert them later. That's that's one of the things. My mate in Tauranga, he got he's he's got all the hydrogen fuel cell things. Uh, so the Danish guy, well Kiwi guy. Uh, so him and I are putting all that together in the sea. He he built big ship, big 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 boats. Uh, he can build the big boats there on, on the block of land and um, fly them in. He can fly in and fly back to Tauranga. Uh, Coromandel, he's got a place over there in Coromandel as well. So we just, I'm just going to work with him in the seabed. I've got plenty to do in the seabed. Um, titles, everything, I've got those sorted out. And just the fellows who are on the land to do that. I'm in the sea. And um, England. I'll be going to England soon, Westminster, straight in the Parliament. <coughs> That's Kingy and, and all that lot up there with, um, to make our, our own own way. We can we make our own way and um, just make a start on the land, okay? That's our snack. No, no much sorry, huh? <laughs> mm. just, just let me know the, the, the hui. And um, uh, I, I can alert um, um, the Gisborne Herald and the Nautical Radio to get as many landowners there as possible. Uh, but um, I got I got thing for Koha box that goes on the table and the like a thing slot in the box and they just put their money in there. That's how I do it in the meetings. But I think that that's an idea that um, I would 
he was used to, um, rather than the other way around, or whatever way anyway. Just the, it's more important to get some sort of kua uh, or some contribution. Whereas up north in Auckland, they charge you for a hui, always charge you, and if Waifang is the worst, they charge like a wounded bull for a, a marae. Uh, but anyway, I'll sort that out. I'll sort that out with you at, on that side of things anyway, with the landowners, because I'll tell them to make sure that they're coming for the information more so, um, um, and to, to listen for something that they're going to be um, you know, involved in. I've got the shares and everything ready to go with the power note around the world on, online now, and I'm just going to kick it in as soon as I get Cook Street. Uh, seizing all that land block uh, opposite the Sky Tower. I've been going on that for a while now, and it's just about ready to, to get it now. So it's 2.5 billion worth of assets I'm going to seize. They, they had it, the police got on my road, but I just have to <coughs> sort it out with my barrister uh, sometime this week. As soon as they, they kick them out and lock them up, then I'll just move in and take the property and and um, uh, the rest is just history after that from my thing. Okay? That's all for now. Okay, mate. Cheers. Bye. There, that's my mate Dick. My old Whakatane High School. Um, mate that uh, stayed in uh, David Hogg High School. Um, in Hillemore Street, I think it was 19 to 22, 19 to 23, Hillemore Street, 21, Hillemore Street. Um, we're just a couple, there was a few of us from Tuhoi and um, uh, all around that had scholarships, uh, married scholarships that uh, went to the church place, uh, Presbyterian Church Hostel. And uh, we did pretty well all right at school. Uh, I think it was uh, it was 900 people at Whakatane High School, men, girls and boys. And, um, uh, yeah, the church, we went to the Presbyterian Church and the Knox, Knox Presbyterian Church on Lanning Road and another church up the road. Um, so that was all right then. Anyway, um, we're back together. Similar minds. Um, he's a marine guy in the sea, and I'm a marine guy in the sea. Uh, but we're passionate about keeping our lands in our ownership uh, than um, being sold off to foreigners or without our consent, at least. Uh, and we want our turn at the land. Um, developing for some use, um, getting better returns from shares. You know, I haven't seen much of shares from 30 blocks of land I'm in, uh, around from East Cape to Tika, Omao, Rapotiki, Wairo, um, Tiki Tiki, Rotore, Te Aroro, Whakarangiangi, Awotere, uh, East Cape, Kuroera, um, Maraera, and Whakangiangi, uh, Potaka, Cape Runway. So all those blocks, I mean, some of them are quite large, and I'm hoping that we can get one at least going. This is the first time in many years I'm going to hitting a, a 12 block and leasing it from our owners there in that block at least multi-ownership and I intend to make good out of one piece of land that I've been talking about for a long time um, but having said that I'm working with Kingi Taurua chief of Napui on Titi Marae and Waifiri Marae uh, for over 20 years with land issues, um, political issues, um, foreshore seabed issues, and also 
um, native issues, confederation issues, incorporations, and also marae issues. I've had many, many hui on marais with typical projects and what we intended to do uh, was always planning and uh, the funding has been very difficult to get. Um, some of us have been trying to get funding for a long time and blocked off by Chongqi's government and still is, um, apart from what I'm doing here, is the only solution is with this flag. It hasn't yet showed what it's really uh, capable of doing, that is trade and um, banking instruments inside this flag and also the military. It's important to protect our, our financial and investment interests in our land and foreshores and seabeds. This flag is the only means of British military um, protection under the King William III and King William IV and King George, their father, King George III, um, jurisdictions of Admiralty Court Martial Law. So that's tied up inside the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. We've just opened up business in there with the Kingi Taurua Chief and other Ngāpui Chiefs. They're the main contractors to Westminster Parliament Government and the British military. Is this flag. They are the gatekeepers of it and also um, the authority and jurisdiction, constitution of this 1835 Declaration of Independence flag, sovereign authority inside that marae. Okay, so the government has been usurping this flag and put it in the cupboard in the cabinet and we have just started to use it. And because Pope Francis destroyed all corporations and trusts and left them without that authority over us and this admiralty that still continuity in sovereignty with us, the native, Maui, Hapu, chiefs, natives, and the British government. Westminster. Okay, so that's intact. Still in a private contract under this flag. We've opened that up for business. Okay, on the 15th of March 2016, we enforced this flag and its authority of trade and development, banking pound note, levy debtor instrument against fraudsters. John Key's got that on his head. There's a bounty on each fraudster's heads. They can't back out of it. Um, I'm saying this to all you people watching these videos, that it's locked in um, contract default because the Queen abandoned ship in Westminster, Britain, UK, England, Wales, abandoned the whole of that authority and went into the EU Parliament as now a contract, a conflict of interest on her involvement with the EU Parliament and Brussels business, with her private business locked in there, even though she's physically in Westminster and the government there, her interests are elsewhere. Okay, so I'm stepping in there to sack her off our Queen Victoria Trust, 1848 Trust, that belongs to this flag and King Taurua Hapu on that Waitangi land block. He's my guy. <coughs> to seize that marae and its business for defraying the cost of fraud. The consequence 
of Committee for John Key and his government, Panama tax havens and allowing fraud to be administered on our land blocks, our land here in Riesla. Everyone who's touched the Queen's head in the court, Queen's Bench Court, against the King's Bench Court is now liable. Each singly person's name and surname, corporate and legal names and natural names are now liable to the memory data instrument of this land. Pound note. Okay, the Maui King William the Fourth pound note. And the eight point star King William the Third St. Patrick's Church Order is the order of the day. England and Wales. Two countries left in the UK British government parliament, landlords of England, minus the island and Scotland gone into the EU Parliament out off the land and we are in there as the third country, Altair, New Zealand. Not, not Altair, Altair, New Zealand. And Pacific Islands as one country in with England and Wales as the third state country. We're hoping that um, Donald Trump will be the new president of the United States of America, or America, um, America, I should say, uh, not the United States of America, that's a corporate name, of America, and that will be a fourth state country of Britain, UK. So that'll make England, Wales, Altair, New Zealand, Pacific Islands as one, and America as the fourth new partner because of King George the third owns America under contract with this land. He's the father of King William the fourth that put this land together for us as contract private with the native chiefs, not Maori, Moai, native Papu chiefs of Altair. Is it? And it's still locked in a 182 year contract. Okay, so that's what I want to say to you if you're watching this video, Dick Carlson. I just told you what a broad overview of the Hui I want on Te Horo Marae is more corporate in the sense of Hapu, not even Hapu. King William IV, where jurisdiction straight to Waitangi, straight to Britain. Okay, John Key on the other hand is the Iwi Runanga Maori Queen Elizabeth IV contract. That contract is at Queen's Bench Court. This contract with Maui Hapu and King William IV, King William III. King George the Third, father. Okay, those those three kings and the flag and us in contract. 182 year contract. So how long this has been going? Fly. 182 years since their first the British first came into Russell, Korora Reka up north, Lance to Napui contract. They're the main contractors out of all the natives in this country. Now we put it together. Okay, so I'm just making certain with King Itauro, his King Edward, and Queen Victoria Trust. That trust is his part of the history of this flag, the niece, Queen Victoria, niece of King William IV flag. So King William IV is the bank and the power note legacy. Acts of Westminster Parliament, 1830-1837, and King E is the trust of Queen Victoria Trust, Gold Trust Fund, and the Crown Jewels. The Crown Jewels are in that marae on documents. We have the documents to cover that and all right through the world 
of whatever Queen Elizabeth did fraudulently with Rothschild Banks and Pope Francis and his Catholic Church and every other church that used this flag of King William the Third and King William the Fourth, the eight point star of St. Patrick's Church Order, is now liable. You're liable as levy debtors in the King's Bench Court. That means Waitangi Marae is the main court. All the Marais in this country are courthouses of the highest order prevails over the ordinary courts. But the Marae is going into the Auckland District Court to start the first King's Bench Court off. I'm the sheriff, by the way, that's adjudicating all the documentation and legal process with the tomata on each marae in this country. So it's no different from one marae to the other, still has the same authority and jurisdiction set right through the country. So with Te Horo Marae, the Hapu Taumata is part of that structure of authority over land there and seabed. That goes right through the country. I just want to make that certain. Four regions in this country are republics. Not Ngāti Parau, that's the cor corporate crown's entity. That's their name, anything with Māori on it, and the word Māori, the word iwi, queen head, queen signature, those are all in the Queen's Bench Court. Everything with the King's head on it, with this flag, and the hapu, and their chiefs and sheriffs, is on this side, the King's Bench Court, straight to Britain. That one, John Key in Wellington, Queen, Bench Court, Wellington. They are Vice Admiral Law, not Admiral Law. This is the creator of Admiralty, Mortgage Lens, Bank Loans, <coughs> and Protectorate from Britain, Military. John Key, nothing like that. They have no jurisdiction over this. So that's all I want to say with this video. Um, um, being back one day now after our um, trip down to the East Coast, a meeting on Arataha blocks, A1 and A2, Tiki. And out of that, we've got some positive results. Um, uh, so we're just uh, focusing our attention on uh, Hiringa uh, blocks, the A10 and the A12 blocks with um, um, the owners there, um, the she owners, um, Richard and, and um, uh, Leslie Fisher. Um, uh, Leslie happens to be in the Peachy family, which is my brother's, my, my father's brother, uh, Ted Wainoa and Doris Peachy, and those, those families on that, that side, and my family with my dad and um, their father, Matauru Wainoa, that's on the Wainoa blocks, right through the Portiki Ki Waipu area, and uh, that's what I've got all the history for on the you know, Tahitian side of Maui. Um, and Desmond uh, is um, going to put uh, a lot of the carving history of Maui to uh, Te Pito on East Island, to Te Pito at the East Cape, those two to go together, from Mokonui on our land blocks, um, just opposite um, the Kiwinui station up the top, Kiwinui, um, Mokonui Hill. Um, and our Urupa there, straight to Rapa Nui, East Island. Okay, Mokonui, Awanui, at Port Awanui, Awanui, Mokonui, Rapa Nui. Okay, you see the name difference? Big story that's been locked away, hidden. There's a lot of Tahitian history right there. And up Waitangi, they well know how that fits together with. Tainui, Napui, and Ngāti Pro. They all come from that Maui statue in the Pacific Islands. So, no different to uh, 
anybody looking to see how that works. It's been around for a while. So you'll see all the videos I put on of the area and uh, we're mapping it out like how I normally do with uh, land titles. That's my profession in real estate and land issues, land titles, in the seabed as well as uh, foreshore and land itself and the use of and the instruments for mortgage liens to buy things right out. Uh, no more mortgages, we're going to handle it differently. Okay, um, so that's what we'll have uh, at the Hui in uh, Te Horo Marae. Um, hope that we can get it. I've already advertised that we're having the 12th to be confirmed yet. 12th of August and um, Dick will let me know if that's available for that day or the 30th on the Saturday. 12th is a Friday, 30th is a Saturday. Uh, so uh, normally a hui like this takes three days or even a week for as much information as this um, to put across let alone just the power project being the biggest in the world right there um, on the Ranfilly Bay. Um, um, it combines fisheries, deep sea fisheries and aquifarms in the open seas and it's the first to go right through the Pacific Islands, this platform bridge, planes land on it and um, it's got uh, 60 of them going right through the Pacific Islands and then off to Scotland and England, and also um, Africa, India, and America, and Australia, uh, for starters. There's 250 countries we're going to with this flag. It's got free passage through the world of trade and, and banking. This flag does that. It supersedes any other authority in the sea of laws of the sea from Westminster. So this is the authority to take us around the world. It hasn't been used yet by us. John Key's been trying to use it and claim it. Didn't work. They can't use this flag. No one can use it. It's a contract. And it's still there. Unbroken sovereignty. Continuity of sovereignty between the Mai Hapu chiefs and the British government. Parliament. Navy. Military. Okay, why I say the military is because they are obligated to protect our land and resources, natural resources, in the seabed up to 500 miles. I've already put those titles right around this country with the old Manukau land titles straight from Scotland. All these titles have been put together by Scottish and they have gone into the EU Parliament now. You see what's happened? They've followed the money and the cabals and the crooked uh, lot into the EU Parliament and they're getting caught out and Hillary Clinton is getting caught out now by Donald Trump and a few other goody people who wants to keep the Christian, Christian law going and unfortunately Hillary Clinton and Obama's that corrupted and fraud you can see it oozing out now it's going to get caught okay so that's John Key's law and the TPPA all of those corporate people are getting caught out in their own fraud dealings and corruption. Right? So we're keeping clean our operations here and the East Coast. For the very first time, I get to go and administer one piece of land and get better returns on shares that we're going right through the world with shares on that one block to get more people supporting that project. The quarry on the heading of A10 block for the land that slips into the sea. The John Key government gets the bill. 970 million trillion trillion pound note, the green one you see online. That's real. That's a levy debtor instrument to the Queen, the Pope and his Vatican Church, the Church of England run by the Germans and the Rothschild banks, the ones that made the forged US dollar and now they're getting rid of all their telltale marks of fraud 
it's not going to get anywhere because we're going to get them with this flag. You strip them of the admiralty, part of the law, and put it back in order in Westminster and get rid of all the fraudulent people in there, sack the whole lot. That's what I said in 2012 to Matt Taylor. Uh, seems to have drifted away now to something else. That's fine. But we're still on track. It might take longer, but it's shoot. But this is where the authority has always been. It's just been hidden from everybody. It's the banker's biggest secret. The crown jewels is mixed up in this flag and the Queen runs her business here in Waitangi Marae for many years hiding this secret from everyone. The levy debtor and strippers. Strip off. Okay? So, in all of that, I just say um, to Dick and his family, thanks for having me there on the land uh, and hope we get to work with each other uh, and make good uh, in the marine sea because no one can touch anything anymore or oil spills and things that are endangering our livelihood and our titles. Okay, so that's really what I wanted to say other than um, have a good evening and we'll catch you again soon. Bye for now.